count has a six foot radius, but only a three eighths inch mesh with 0.75 pounds weight per radius. Uh, and what kind are you looking for? Well, basically, we're going to look for this one has smaller holes in the mesh, this one has a bigger hole. Oh, okay. I'm looking for ones that have a little bit more. Uh, a little bit thicker uh, filament, mm -hmm. not too thick. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It is October 7th and we are over on Jekyll Island. We're going to be doing a little uh, cast netting. Stay tuned. So here we are at St. Andrews, getting ready to have our little lunch before we head off and fish. That's what it looks like. Quick 360 spin. Okay, so here we are on St. Andrews Beach on uh, Jekyll Island. Here is a map of Jekyll Island so you get an idea of where we are. Right here, I marked it for you, is St. Andrews. They were way over on the end. We've been to all of these other beaches in the past. If you check our fishing videos uh, playlist and our Florida Georgia beaches playlist, you'll see a lot of them listed. But uh, again, this is where we are today. And as you can see, it's pretty empty. Whoops! Here goes the map. Map, map. Michael's getting the surf poles up. I'm just setting them up for now. This is actually low tide. You can see the water line. So it looks weird now that he's setting it up here. It's so far from the water, but there's a method to the madness. And as you can see here, it says that the tides, there's two high tides and two low tides each day and usually 12 hours and 25 minutes difference between the tides. And you can also see they got an explanation in the visitor's guide as to why the water is so murky. There was a sign when we came in that said that uh, this water is not suitable for swimming at this time. That's okay, we don't plan on swimming anyway. Now, we picked up this book because we wanted to see what events are going on within the next couple months. There's always something going on over in this area. Jekyll's considered part of the Golden Isles. So is St. Simons and Little St. Simons. And you can see we got some fun stuff that we may come back over for and uh, enjoy with Trinity. And here's a look at some of the other annual events. And there's another map and you can see that it says that uh, St. Andrews is part of the southernmost tip of the island, and it's really big for bird watchers. There's a wildlife platform just down the beach that we've been to several times. It gives you a great view of uh, the water. Oh, and it's also a good spot to catch migratory dolphins. You can sometimes see them close to the shore. See little crabs. They're whelk shells. There's usually animals living in them. Let's see if this one has anything. Yep, see them in there? In there. Those little legs. I'm gonna leave them in there. Flip them back over. They're common here. He's whistling at me. He's so cute.
still are at St. Andrew's Beach, checking out the birds. You can see birds up on the post. Any luck, honey?